So, there has been a scandal that has been going down. There's been a scandal that's been going down here in Massachusetts that I'm absolutely disgusted with. And it actually made me embarrassed for my state. I was sort of okay with Maura Healy, the governor here. I was sort of okay with her. I mean, my opinion of her was mixed at best. Because, you know... Because, you know, Democrat and whatnot. But, but what has come out of her administration as of late and came out fairly recently, is a complete embarrassment. Now I am no longer a fan of her, and now I am on Team Fuck Maura Haley. And you want to know why? Well, I'd like you all to... ...and enjoy this program. So, what am I talking about here? What exactly am I talking about? Well, first of all, I will first. Well, first of all, this here, where the Transportation Secretary of Maura Healy's administration has pissed off New Hampshire, has pissed off the New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu by. Hinting at the idea of putting tolls on the Massachusetts-New Hampshire border. This resulted in a massive pushback from officials in New Hampshire, including the Republican frontrunner um, front who is running for governor, uh, Kelly Ayotte, um, amongst others, including an auditor, uh, a Massachusetts state auditor here, has spoken out and says that this is completely unacceptable, and this would actually have a this would have a pretty serious impact on our economy. No, this is fucking unacceptable. This is absolutely a blatant, blatant violation of another state sovereignty. It's just a total, a total violation of state sovereignty. Just a total violation of that. This is, ex this is what's here, and this made me fucking embarrassed. This makes me embarrassed for my sake. It's like... Sorry, I don't know what the fuck is going on with my screen. Hold on. Okay. A toll for driving into Mass, NH governor says not so fast. Looks like Massachusetts has found yet another way to unnecessarily take your money, New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu said in a statement. All the more reasons for more Massachusetts residents to make the permanent move into New Hampshire. The Mass dot secretary was given a keynote at a walk Massachusetts gathering. This one is actually different because we aren't censoring this, she said. I'm talking about tolling. I'm talking about charging TNCs more. I'm talking about potentially charging more for package deliveries. Charging more for payroll taxes. Basically going after everyone who has money. And when I'm talking tolling, I'm talking at the border. I'm not talking like within Massachusetts. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, you stupid fucking bitch. So basically what you're saying is you want to put tolls on other states' borders to get more money that way because you can't make money another way. Because you can't some way somehow manage to, you can't somehow manage your own fucking money. This is fucking embarrassing. This is absolutely fucking embarrassing. This is an absolute embarrassment and joke to my state. And I have friend and I have friends from New Hampshire as well. I have at least two friends from New Hampshire as a matter of fact. I just I'm just I'm completely I'm just I'm outraged. I am completely fucking outraged at this. 
yes, this would have a devastating impact, uh, not just economically speaking, but regarding the unmanageable congestion and infrastructure burden it would create on every local back road. Creating a border war is not the answer, and it's definitely families within Massachusetts who would ultimately be hurt by this move. Yeah, it would actually harm us the most because people in New Hampshire would just look at this and say, oh, well, fuck Massachusetts. We're not going to go there. Like, it's like, okay, now we're just going to, um, I don't know, go to other states now. Now we're going to end up going to Maine and we're going to go to Vermont or go to, uh, I don't know, go to uh, different places uh, and not go there. It, that's what's going to result in we're going to be the losers. They're the ones they're going to, this is not really going to, harm them unless they have jobs over here in Massachusetts. I mean, it'll, it'll affect those people as well. But yeah, wanting to charge money. So, so you see what I mean? All of the things that they have said about Democrats price gouging you is 100% fucking true. Because just look at what she said. Look at what this dumb motherfucker said. Literally said that they want to charge more for packaging and delivery. Wow, because that's totally not going to fucking harm the middle class. Oh, totally. But no, this is going on under Maura Healy's administration. And Maura Healy has not taken any responsibility for this. She has not uh, completely condemned the, this person in her, in her transportation secretary. She hasn't spoken out against this person. So no, I have no respect for my governor. And we need to make sure here in Massachusetts that Maura Healy and her administration is a one-term administration. We need to make sure that she's a one-term administration. So if you all are wondering about Ke uh, so if you all are wondering about Kelly Ayo, well, she's a front runner uh, running uh, for governor in New Hampshire, and she actually has said she said a lot of things I haven't always agreed with. But you want to know something? Now we know why she's campaigning. Now you know why. Now you know why she's sitting there saying, "Oh, well, we're just." One election away from becoming Massachusetts, and we don't want to become that. Oh, my God. You know, it's like, you know what? I used to think that that was silly, that was childish. But you know what? Now it makes perfect sense. Because now our state is becoming a fucking joke now. Now our state is becoming a fucking joke. Um, How about this more, Healy? It starts with a fucking apology. How about you how about you turn around and you tell your transportation secretary, what are you thinking? You're a complete moron. What you're what you're advocating for would be harmful to our relationship with New Hampshire. It would be completely harmful to our economy and to people that you claim to care about in this state. You talked about, oh, oh we need tax cuts and everything. Yeah, I'm glad you did that. But this is the dumbest thing ever. And this is not, this is completely inexcusable. I cannot sit back and say that this is okay. I will not sit back and say that this is okay. It starts off like this. You could do that and then pick up the phone and call Governor Chris Sununu and apologize and say, yeah, this was wrong. I shouldn't have done it. You know, but no, would politicians do that? No. Well, would some fucking politician do that? Of course they wouldn't. No, a fucking course they wouldn't because that's what politicians do. Politicians never do that. Man, remember the days when we had Charlie Baker in office? Remember the day we had Charlie Baker in office? We were in the best fiscal shape ever, uh, coming out of the destructive Deval Patrick administration with 25 taxes in a row. Yeah, well, are, are, are we heading back in that direction now? Like, is that the direction that we're going to be fucking heading in now? I mean, is this the direction that we're fucking heading in? Are, are, are we heading for another are we heading for another thing? See, this is what I mean. Democrats can't be trusted with your money. Democrats cannot be trusted with your money whatsoever. Uh, who are you going to hand your money over to? You see what I mean? Democrats on Beacon Hill are embarrassing or embarrassing our state. They are embarrassing our state to New Hampshire and to other states in the country. By creating a fucking border, by creating a fucking border dispute on New Hampshire's border for no reason whatsoever, other than just to take more people's fucking money. Because as if they don't have enough money, as if we don't have enough fucking money and enough taxes, as if they don't, as if they don't have enough money that, that they could use. Oh, so oh, so well, we we can't get money uh, any other way. Oh my God, you know what? You know this is also going to harm our business climate. This just may result in. Business is coming in from other states and actually avoiding our state altogether. It'll result in people from New Hampshire uh, probably coming here less. Okay? So this is a fucking joke. 
This is this is just riddled with incompetence. This is riddled with incompetence and it's riddled with embarrassment. It's an absolute embarrassment to the state that I love and that I have been that I've born and raised in my whole entire life. And things were going, I mean, things were okay. Like I said, I didn't have that much of a problem with Maura Healy until she did this. Because it's kind of funny because Chris Sununa was actually praising you, saying that you were doing a good job, and he was praising you. I, he, we, we had great relations with him under Charlie Baker when Charlie Baker was good friends with Chris Sununu. We had good relations with all our neighboring states and everything. Like, Massachusetts has a very powerful economy. Like, Boston is the big beacon of, of the economy in New England. Okay, so other states count on us to do... Yeah, other states actually count on us to actually be, be a powerhouse because a successful Massachusetts is good for not just our economy, but it's good for other people's economies as well. To have good relations with other governors, to have good relations with them and everything, especially with New Hampshire, that's our that's our actually our our closest neighbor to the north. And now you're fucking pissing them off. Now Maura Haley has pissed them off. Oh, congratulations. Now New Great, congratulations. Now New Hampshire doesn't respect us. Congratulations. You have made you have made our state a complete joke. And you have corrupted our face into their eyes, and now they don't respect us. Now they don't respect us, and now you give Kelly Ao an even bigger reason to campaign against Massachusetts. So congratulations. Thanks for the thanks for destroying our fucking state's reputation to New Hampshire and to others. Thanks. Really fucking appreciate it. It's it's riddled with fucking incompetence. The whole thing is just I, I don't even know what to say. I, like, this is a joke. This is a complete fucking joke. Because like I said, this is going to harm ordinary people in the state like me. People in New Hampshire can just choose not to come here. Like, they're like, oh, let's, let's fucking bore it. Look, they, they have tolls on their on their highways. They actually have tolls on their highways. But 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 if you go further up north on I-95 and uh, on the Massachusetts-New Hampshire border, that they have one on I-93 going up to... Uh, going up I-93, one going up uh, Route 3, U.S. Route 3, going up into New Hampshire on the, uh, Ever I think it's the Everett Turnpike, I'm thinking. Maybe I'm thinking of another one. But, but there's those. New Hampshire doesn't put it on our fucking borders. They, they don't do that. So, 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 it, so it seems like uh, the, the, the leaders over in New Hampshire actually have their heads screwed on right, unlike here, where, where it's basically just fucking, now it's just one party Democrat rule. Now it's one fucking party Democrat rule. In stark contrast to Charlie Baker, when we were not only we were in the best fiscal state, we were in the best fiscal state imaginable under him. Handled COVID very well, uh, got 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 our economy rolling again. Like every, th things were, he was the perfect moderate middle ground. Had good relations with other uh, governors and everything. He he was a he was the best. He was the best. And and now Charlie Baker's legacy is getting shat on by these fucking retarded Democrats on Beacon Hill that are now pissing off other states, including New Hampshire. So, yeah, yeah, this is so great. I'm not happy to be a base stater right now. I'm not. I mean, <laughs> I'm not. I'm I, I'm not I'm not happy with this. I'm embarrassed. I'm ashamed. It's just it, it's I'm disgusted with this behavior. I I, I am disgusted with this incompetent behavior. And this needs to send a message, and this needs to wake people the fuck up, that Democrats are fucking incompetent. And that Democrats never deserve to win another election. That They don't. Trust me, I critique Republicans all the time. I do. I, I critique the war-loving Republicans all the fucking time. But Biden, Maura Healey, this transportation secretary... Or whether it's fucking uh, Kathy Hochul in New York, whether it's all any other fucking Democrat running shit. You see what I mean? Now you see this. And now you got this going on here. And you now see an even bigger reason. Not only that, the, 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 this just might send more people from this state fucking packing. It's unfucking believable. It's just we need to speak out against this, and I hope this fucking backfires. I hope this fucking backfires. I hope this 100% backfires. As a Massachusetts resident, uh, born and raised, 
I support New I, I support New Hampshire 100 percent in this dispute. No, fuck the people that run. No, fuck the people that run my state. Fuck, fuck my fucking governor. I don't give a shit. I was on Team Fuck Deval Patrick when he was here fucking up our goddamn state with fucking taxes. I was saying that when Charlie Baker was in there and he was actually doing good things for the state and he was a perfect middle ground, had our economy rolling, had good relations with other governors. I was actually proud of the state. I was proud of the way things were. Look, I thought Moore Haley was okay at one point, but but now, no. Now, absolutely not. Now, she will never get my vote. I, I didn't vote the last election. I did not vote the last election. I did not. I didn't vote the last election because I fucking hate Jeff Deal. I did not fucking vote for him. And I did not vote for Moore Haley because I didn't know what the fuck she was going to do. And then I was thinking, oh, you know, she's been doing good here, there, whatever. Okay, here's the thing. I will never fucking vote for her now. Now, in her next election, now I will never fucking vote for her. Now I will never vote for her now. And I will campaign, now I will campaign and put all this shit out against her now. Completely did a fucking 180 in my opinion on her. Because because this is a bridge that has gone too far, literally, pun not intended. Now I will make sure, that now that I will make sure that I will never vote for her. She will never get my vote now. Never. No, this is inexcusable. This is in fucking excusable. She'll never get my vote now at all under any circumstances. I will vote against her by any means necessary. I'll I'll vote for I'll vote for any other person against her. But you want to know something? Jeff Deal was a fucking neocon. Jeff Deal, her opponent back in 2022, is basically what gave us Maura Healy. The reason why Maura Haley won was because Jeff Deal was this fucking neocon, anti-abortion neocon who believed in taxes and believed in tax cuts for the rich. That guy couldn't win. That guy couldn't defeat Maura Haley. Him and other neocons like him couldn't defeat Maura Haley. So congratulations. Now we got Maura Haley. And now we got her uh, fucking uh, pissing off New Hampshire and pissing off others. Yeah. And then fucking doing stupid shit. Congratulations. Nah, th 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 this is what I mean. Fuck the whole two-party system. Because the two-party system is a monopoly. It gives us shitty options. Jeff Deal's a shitty option, so he ends up giving us fucking Moore Hill. Who's Moore Hill going to give us next? And, and, and you know, you, you got this one. Oh, or like fucking Bush gave us Obama. Obama gave us Trump. And vice versa. You see what I mean? The whole entire two-party monopoly system is what's fucking killing our country. This two-party system is why this this country is why this country is in the fucking toilet because it's such a monopoly. Because no politician wants to do anything good or to take any type of responsibility for anything. Because just like with the fucking taxes, these Democrats here in Massachusetts, some way somehow, they can't get their own money. They can't get their money by doing things responsibly. So what do they have to do? They have to get it from somebody else. Oh, they have to get it from New Hampshire. Oh my God! Then now we're going to put tolls on the fucking New Hampshire border. And guess what? You're not going to get that money because more and more people are probably going to avoid this state now, thanks to your dumbass. So you're so what you're fucking trying to propose is going to have the opposite effect. You fucking idiot. The fucking bullshit that you're trying to fucking propose is only going to have the opposite effect. You fucking idiot. Jesus Christ. Monica to bits not. Fuck you. That's your fucking name? Fuck you. You fucking joke and embarrassment to my fucking state. Fuck you. An absolute fucking travesty. An absolute travesty, embarrassment to my state, complete and utter incompetence. Complete and utter incompetence. And it pisses me off, too, because, because honestly, there is a lot of great things in this state. There really is. Like, there's a lot of great things about it. You know, that there's there's a lot of great things about it here. There really is. Like like the beaches, the culture, the, the this, the that. The, there's a lot of uh, beautiful wildlife, beautiful sceneries, and uh, everything. 
And no, unfortunately, when you got good things, this is why we can't have nice things. Then it's like getting completely fucked up. Getting fucked up by these neoliberals on Beacon Hill. It's a complete embarrassment to my state. I reject it in the strongest possible terms. I stand with New Hampshire, and I say, fuck Maura Hilly and fuck her administration for what she's doing, and fuck that transportation secretary who's incompetent and should resign in disgrace. You're a disgrace to this fucking state, and you should fucking resign in shame. Hang your fucking head in shame and resign in disgrace before you cause any more damage to my state. Fuck you. Resign. Because all you're going to do is destroy our state is what you're going to do. You're going to diminish our relationship with New Hampshire and with other neighbors. That's what you're going to do. And that's what you are doing. It's another way for you to do another tax grab and take other people's money. That's all you're going to do. Look, I'm a leftist. I advocate for God, uh, you know, uh, investment and money and, uh, you know, making stuff, you know, a more equitable society. But is that the way to go? Fuck no. There's already more money. There's already money in the transportation and investment, gas tax and whatnot. Again, this is just another thing. When they waste this fucking money, what do they do? They sit there and then they waste that money. Oh, what what happens? Th then they act like, oh, look, look at that. We barely have any money, so what do we do? Now we have to go. Now we have to go get it from someplace else. Now we have to go get it from the rest of them. Nah, this this whole thing. Nah, this whole thing. Nah, this whole thing is just a complete and utter joke and embarrassment. That's what this whole thing is. Remember, I said it from the beginning. I said it from the beginning. I said it. If, I said it. If Maura Haley fucked up, I would absolutely call this out. And that's exactly, and that is exactly what I did here and what I will continue to do. So we have to make sure, so we have to make sure that she has made a one-term governor for the sake of our state, for the sake of our state and our future and our relations with other states. One can only hope. And trust me, the day that we get rid of this cannot come soon enough. But anyway, that's pretty much all I had to say on that topic. Uh, leave a comment down below if you're a if you're a Bay Stater like me, if you're just as embarrassed about the shit as me, or or if you're or if you're from New Hampshire like a lot of my homies and you think this is just as fucking retarded as well. Yeah, if you certainly think that, definitely definitely leave a definitely leave a thing in the comments as well for sure. Definitely leave definitely leave something in the comments as well. So. We know what you think about that, and I will be back tonight at 7 p.m. with another with the stream and with my stream at 7 p.m. So look out for that, and look out for a whole bunch of other look out for that, and look out for a whole bunch of other stuff in the works. Stay tuned. Until then, stay safe, stay well, stay classy, keep fighting, keep on rocking. Take care of yourselves and all of each other, and I will see you all tonight at 7 p.m. for my live stream and my next and for my next video. Until then, see you all then. And see you again in my next video soon. Peace, have a good day, and so long.